want to go ahead and just do it slowly and get that sauce uh, mixed around with the potatoes. Mmm, it's starting to look good. Okay, just uh, got home from work a few minutes ago and uh, Bonnie and I now are going to go ahead and uh, prepare some things for dinner. And for tonight, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make uh, Korean style soy sauce sesame oil uh, potatoes. Really, really good. Yeah, we have rice potato three of them here. So three potatoes. Mm -hmm. Now you want to go ahead and uh, of course cut these up into uh, smaller pieces, but the key is not to have the pieces be too small. Um, we're going to boil these pieces and of course if they're too small they'll basically just disintegrate and if they're too big it'll take uh, too long yeah that's, that's about the size there but if it's too big it'll take too long to uh, to boil so again it's really important don't make the pieces too small and so here are the potatoes in the smaller pieces uh, in the pot and once uh, the potatoes are all cut up it's going to take uh, honey about what do you think maybe 15 to 20 minutes uh, of uh, boiling. Mm -hmm. uh, check it periodically once you probably get to about uh, maybe 15 minutes just to make sure that it's uh, not overcooking because again you don't want the potatoes to get uh, too soft. Okay so Bonnie just got the uh, potatoes uh, into the pot and uh, she uh, put the temperature on a little higher and so we're going to go ahead and have those potatoes boiling for about uh, 15 or 20 minutes but I'd say check it out at, for after about 15 minutes and uh, I went ahead and just put a plate of uh, the uh, Korean bell fish, it's called kalchi. Uh, it'll be part of tonight's dinner as well. And now I uh, want to go ahead and take an opportunity here while the potatoes are cooking and getting ready to boil to go ahead and make the sauce mix for the potatoes. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get that started so it'll be all ready to go once the potatoes are all done boiling and we strain the water and put it into a bowl. Okay, so while the potatoes are cooking, it's a great chance to go ahead and make the sauce. So this is a bowl that we're going to put the potatoes into just a little bit later, so we're going to go ahead and put the sauce into here. We're going to go ahead and start with the Korean beef powder, Desita, and we're going to go ahead and put in one spoon of the beef powder. So there goes one spoon of the Korean beef powder, and then after that we're going to go ahead and uh, put in uh, the sesame oil, uh, three tablespoons. So got a tablespoon ready to go here and so one, two, and three. Okay so three spoons of the sesame oil and um, I'm just going to jump around and do this in pretty much any order but um, uh, I always like to have a little bit of the cayenne pepper so just a, a, a tiny bit again I think it goes great with a lot of foods so we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit and we're talking just a little bit not too much of the cayenne pepper and then next we'll put in the sesame seeds got to have sesame seeds so we're going to go ahead and have uh, just enough to kind of mix into there so it's about that much there so it's kind of filling in all the uh, sesame oil if you will and then for the uh, onion powder we need to get a tablespoon of the onion powder so kind of use the same spoon that I used before and you want to put in just roughly about a tablespoon of granulated onion powder. So there's that in there. Uh, I think the potatoes go great with the red pepper flakes, Italian red pepper flakes. Again this is something optional uh, as well as the cayenne pepper to be honest but um, I like to have some red pepper flakes just to jazz it up a little bit and we're going to put in just enough to kind of sprinkle around and we don't want to get it too spicy but just enough to kind of add some flavoring to it and then we'll then add the minced garlic minced garlic let's say uh, about maybe a spoon like that okay and then of course you got to have the green onions so we're going to go ahead and add some green onions again these are the ones that uh, Bonnie cuts up and uh, kind of keeps frozen it's a good way to preserve the uh, green onions. So 
Uh, I'm gonna kind of zoom in just to show the viewers there, but that's the green onions. I gotta have that for these potatoes. Okay, and of course, the most important ingredient is the uh, soy sauce. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put one third cup of the soy sauce. This is a one cup container, so we're just gonna kind of eyeball it. So just a third, you don't wanna have too much soy sauce. Uh, uh, so there's about a third cup in there, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour that into the mix. Add the soy sauce. And so now you've got the mix. We're gonna go ahead and mix it up. Now the mix is all ready for the potatoes so that when they're done boiling and we strain the water, we can dump them right into here. So that's the mix. And now we just need to wait for the potatoes. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Okay, so we just took the potatoes out and uh, strained them. And you can still see the hot steam coming off those potatoes. And now we're going to go ahead and dump it into uh, our sauce. So there they go into the sauce. And now we're going to go ahead and gently mix it up. Uh, you don't want to mix it up uh, too roughly because it'll kind of break up the potatoes. So you want to go ahead and just do it slowly and get that sauce uh, mixed around with the potatoes. Mmm, they're starting to look good. Um, they're actually really good chilled too, so you can actually um, uh, put these away and store them in your fridge and uh, eat them the next day. And uh, they're actually really, really good cold uh, with rice too. So there's the potatoes getting all mixed up and pretty much ready for us to test out. So we're going to go ahead and try out the potatoes. So this is how they look. I put some in a bowl here. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it out first. Mm. It's really, really good. Um, it goes great with rice. So, honey, I want you to go ahead and try this now. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I know you're off camera, but give you some as well. Mm, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so again, um, adjust the spices uh, as you prefer because everyone has their own preference in terms of if they want a little more garlicky, maybe they want to have a little more spicy, uh, maybe not as salty. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and this is how you make the potatoes Asian style with soy sauce and sesame oil. <laughs>